Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be doing some repairs on my furnace. I need to replace the blower motor because it's bad. And I figure while I'm in here, I'll replace all the sensors and stuff. Because the furnace is like 35, 40 years old, so it needs a good tune-up. I've already taken it apart before, cleaned it out. So you'll see pictures of what it looked like before I tinkered with it at the end of this video. What I'm going to be doing today is showing you how to re replace the uh, blower motor. So it's a Nordine model CMH72-A. The current motor that's in it is an A.O. Smith 322P289, 7.8 amps, 1 6th horsepower, 1000 RPM, counterclockwise rotation. The new motor is a Gentex, spelled with a Q. 322p289 same specs as the old motor I'm going to go ahead and remove the cover from the furnace and I'll show you what we're dealing with to remove it all you got on this particular model all you got to do is just lift it and pull and take it out of the way I've already cut the power to the blower so there's no chance of electrocution So you can see here, that's the blower. It's connected here. These two wire nuts, single speed. No fancy electronics on this. Now I've already taken this thing apart before. If you, this is the burner compartment down here. To remove this, you got these screws here. Your standard ratcheting screwdriver without any bits will fit over these and unscrew it. Make sure the gas is turned off if you're going to do work on the valve. You turn it towards you or away from you until it's horizontal. Disconnect it here, put this out of the way. Then carefully remove all the screws and pull it out. I've already redone the electrical connections because it was having a short circuit issue. I even replaced the wires of the sensor up there. It's kind of hard to see. But to replace the blower, this just slides out, so disconnect it from the wire nuts, which we'll go ahead and do right now. I'm going to replace these wire nuts with a plug to so make it easier access for when I need to clean the blower motor. Go ahead and pull them apart. It doesn't matter which orientation the blower motor goes in, it's single speed, one rotation only, it's not polarized, it's no multi speed here. You see it's already kind of dirty, but I have cleaned it, and I and I have since installed a filter. I'm going to go ahead and slide this out, and show you how to remove the blower. Be right back. Alright. To remove it, make sure you got a firm grasp on it, because the motor is heavy itself. The motor itself weighs 10 pounds. What you're going to do is just give it a gentle slide. And out it comes. It's as simple as that. Okay, now that the blower is out of the furnace, to remove the squirrel cage from the shaft, there's a little bolt on this. Take an adjustable wrench, put it on there, turn it towards you. Now this is already loose because like I said, I've already taken it apart once before and oiled it and everything. But if, this, if the blower is stuck to the shaft, some penetrating oil, and a blowtorch, heat it up, and it should slide right off. Now I'm going to flip it over. Take a Phillips screwdriver. You got these three bolts here. One, two, three. These mount it. You have to remove. You have to remove this before you can undo the belly band. Because you can't get a screwdriver in there; it's too tight. If these are stuck too, just give them a little bit. Of, just give them a shot with penetrating oil.
don't lose them. That's the grounding wire for the motor. And it's just slide right out. Just like that. Need the squirrel cage in there unless you plan on taking it apart to clean it. I already cleaned it before. I said I'll show you pictures later of what it looks like before I messed with it. Now, need a slotted screwdriver. Set this aside. See, zoom in here so you can see what I'm doing. Slide screwdriver. Yeah, that'll work. Remove these and loosen these two. You don't want to completely remove them. Just loosen them enough that the motor will slide off. Might want to hold the nut at the bottom or spin it like this. If these are tight again, just give it some oil. Slide that off. Push this through. And there you go. And that's the motor. All removed. So the bearings were bad. So I gave it some oil in here. Right here. Just so it would last until I could get the new motor. Now this motor is hot to the touch as it is. So that's probably indicating that it's on its way out. Set that aside, I don't need it. I'm packaging the new one. See, brand new. All shiny. Fish it through. Make sure you got it going in the right way. I had to give you a couple of tries to adjust it right. Go ahead and tighten it. Can you see what I'm doing? Not really. I've never done a video like this before, so forgive me if it's not correct. I mean, correct cam camera angle. And I got a cat sniffing out the blower housing. Fun part is trying to line up the flat spot on here to match.
Now this is the fun part. I'm gonna have to do this several times, remounting it to get the motor in the right location. Let's see how well it's lined up. I did have it right. Alright, now what? <sighs> Motor slit. I had this damn thing here. What happened? Motor. Alright. Pause this. Motor came loose. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, what happened was the motor wasn't tight enough in the mount, so it slipped off when I was trying to put the squirrel cage on. Took it back apart, retightened it. It's nice and tight. The blower's back on it now, nice and level. Spins freely. So next step would be just putting this back in. Be right back. Quick look before I put the uh, motor back in. See so here we have the uh, circuit board. Well, not circuit board, but the sensors and transformer. I replaced the two sensors back here. You can't really see them. I didn't show you replacing them, but all you gotta do is just two screws to hold them in each. Then you know you got the spade connections. Just pull them out gently, unscrew the new one, put them back in. Now pretty straightforward. I replaced the time delay relay also, just for the heck of it. You got another sensor up here, right here, known as the flame rollout. If it overheats, it shuts off the pilot or the burner anyway. This is the cover here for the uh, electrical connections. It usually has two screws, I only have one. And this one I gotta use a wrench to tighten it. So there doesn't have a screwdriver attachment for it. On off switch right there. I went ahead and added this for the blower motor connection. Kind of my version of a quick connect or quick disconnect. Make it easier to disconnect the blower when I need to clean it out for maintenance and stuff. So I already cleaned this thing out. You know, see right there it says Miller. Made Nordine made by Miller. CMH 72-A. You know, I said this thing's older than me. I'm 30 and this thing's probably 35, 40 at least. That's your gas valve. The electrical wire coming up into there. Let's go put the blower motor in and get this thing fired up. Let's see if it's going 
get to this thing ain't exactly light. But anyway, to replace it, all it does is slides in. Make sure you line it up. in there. Put these in. Put them through there so nothing gets damaged. Shall we fire up and see what happens? What's the temperature in here? It, I will shut on the power. Let's see what it does. Burners on. Waiting game now for the blower to kick on.
Press that for now. I'll let it run through a cycle. If there's, if there's no problems, I'll put the cover back on and upload this video. If there's any issues, you'll find out.